dude, I'm really scared up here. I don't like this at all. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. No. Is there something out here? Demon. Demon. Beware. Every time we say the E word, the REM pod goes off. Exorcism. Oh my God, they're behind us. All right, what is up guys? Okay. Wow, we just got done with the Conjuring House last night. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. What we experienced there was mind blowing. That's the only way I can describe it. But unfortunately, we don't have that luxury to sit around and think about it right now because today it is my location pick and we are about to go on a seven hour drive from Rhode Island all the way up to Hinsdale, New York. I'm taking everyone to the infamous Hinsdale House. Every inch of this property is soaked with blood. It trumps every other location that we've been to on the scale of just the tragic history that has happened on this land and at this house. There's gonna be a lot of anxiety tomorrow. And honestly, I don't think I'm even prepared for this location. So we got a long drive ahead of us, so we gotta get on the road. This is gonna suck. Dude, I can't believe this trip already. No, we have to drive seven hours now. No, we talked to our dead relatives yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was weird too. All right, update. You got healthy snacks and bad for you snacks. Come on, autofocus. You're being a shit. What'd you get? I got spicy chips. Oh yeah. Spicy chips. Oh yeah. Two Celsius's. Oh yeah. And a Snickers protein bar. What'd you get out? What'd you guys get? I got and hot Cheetos, ranch bugles, and a cheese day dish. Guys, I like. Yeah, very good options, very good options. So I got this like fruit stick thing, some protein puffs, and some uh, beef jerky. Beef jerky, but what about the beef jerky? It's Jack Link's Doritos flavored. Oh, man. Yeah. Jack Link's times Dorito, finally. We are living in the future. So if you think we're all eating healthy and shit, you're wrong. Going to New York, that's all we know. Somewhere upstate middle New York. It's raining. Should be snowing, but it's raining. How's everyone feeling? Feeling ready after that crazy night the other night? I am drained. I need an energy drink and I've already had a coffee and an energy drink. <laughs> We're gonna die of heart attacks, folks! Wake <laughs> me up with your loud voice! Welcome! Good morning. morning! It's been like five hours since we've recorded last, but we're still driving. This drive sucks. <laughs> 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 I'm so tired. <laughs> thoughts on where we're going in upstate New York? The only thing I could think of is Amityville is in New York. Probably the White House. The White House. The White House. The White House. It's the only famous house that I know right now. I, I'm brain dead. <laughs> I gotta be honest, dude. This has been a long ass drive. What are we doing today? Are we just chilling? Are we just driving? Are we going to the haunted location tonight? There's no way we're doing a haunted location after this yeah. drive, guys. Don't worry about Ooh. it. It'll probably already start to get dark, so we should probably read the packet. Uh, and, uh, find out where we're going. Here we go, time to read the packet. You guys ready? No. This house is definitely not it, right? No, this is not it. This is our Airbnb. I don't know if this place is haunted. Didn't look into it before I booked it. <laughs> it's creepy because we all knew we had to go to The Conjuring, but starting this point on with the trip, it's completely up in the air. I don't, no one knows where the rest of the trip is taking us. No, I mean, we just drove seven hours. <laughs> Are you guys tired? I'm so oh, tired. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dead right now. I'm so exhausted. But now I have a little bit more energy because I want to know where we're going. I mean, I can just show you guys right now. Let's do it. So, that's for you, Duck. Okay. That is for you. And I can take that camera now. Here we go, New York. What's <laughs> haunted in New York? The Hinsdale House. 
located in the rural countryside of upstate New York. One might never guess that a decrepit farmhouse tucked away in the woods of Hinsdale has become known as one of the most notoriously violent and haunted locations in all of the state. But it is not just the house that is said to be haunted, but the entire massive property and woods surrounding it are said to have an oppressive negative energy and a history to match. So it's tucked away in the woods. Tucked away in the woods, great. Wouldn't be a haunted house if it wasn't, I guess. Tucked away in the woods. <laughs> okay, Squidward. <laughs> you do like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? It's tucked away in the woods. <laughs> It is said that the land on which the house is settled on was the site of a Native American massacre where almost 10,000 Native Americans were killed for this land. 10,000? Like we've been to haunted locations that have had a, over a hundred years of history and did not have anywhere near as much death as that. I mean, that is the bulk of the death, but that is just one layer of the history of death at this location and that land. Legend indicates that after this massacre occurred, the land surrounding was deeply cursed. Many people believe this curse opened up a gateway through which other dark entities could have attached themselves to this doomed property. The house was built in 1853 by the Everett brothers, a homicidal duo who would entrap passerby by luring their stagecoaches off of the main road where they would then rob and murder their victims and temporarily discard their bodies in a crawl space before they would eventually be buried on the property. How have I not heard this before? The like Everett brothers? That's crazy. I didn't know about that either. Like a, almost a duo, a serial killer yeah. duo. Pretty much, I mean, they would lure them off of the main road and just kill them, take all their stuff that was in their stagecoaches and wagons, and then bury them in the woods after they would store them for a while. To try and validate this story, the current owner hired a ground penetrating radar team to survey the property, who did in fact find multiple bodies buried on the property. Whether or not these were murder victims or not is up for debate, considering that this is not the only story of death on these lands. So like, they don't know if these bodies were the Everett brothers' victims, but they still found bodies. In another story of a brutal murder on the property, a heated argument about religion, ironically between two different brothers, bore shocking and tragic results. The conversation became so volatile that one of the brothers raised his shotgun and killed his brother in cold blood. No way. What kind of argument could you possibly have to get to a point where you shoot your own family? Especially over religion. Mm -hmm. Another story of an untimely and grisly death that unfolded on the grounds is that of a young boy who lived in the house. He was messing around with his father's buzzsaw when the blade snapped off hitting him in the head and killing him instantly. Oh no way. My gosh. That's just a tragic one. I feel like all of the deaths are like really intense, like really extreme. It's usually like somebody passed away from some kind of natural cause, but these are all gross ways to die or be killed. I mean, if you take the Native American part out of it, which is already wild, but like the Everett brothers, that energy from these victims being there, like it's gonna be disgusting. Mm -hmm. These are like serial killers. The most notable story that would ultimately make this house famous and caught the attention of headline news around the county was that of the Dandy family. Some people still refer to the Hinsdale house as the Dandy House because of the extreme encounters the Dandy family experienced during their short time there. Of course it's the Dandy family. Right? It's like the happiest name ever. Ugh. Almost immediately after moving into the century-old farmhouse in the early 1970s, the family began experiencing extremely negative encounters. The idea that they'd finally found their dream home in the country was soon replaced by confusion and fear. Within days, they began to experience strange paranormal activity that only continued to grow worse as time went on. 
Most often, the phenomena would manifest in the form of mysterious phone calls and a variety of poltergeist activity. Sometimes, the family would even hear chanting emanating from the nearby woods. Oh. Oh. And what's weird about this too is like the time they would have lived there, it would have been all like landlines. Mm -hmm. It's just, it seems more bizarre. Almost more personal. Yeah, it's more personal, exactly. Dude, they need to make a movie on this. Like, we haven't even finished half the packet, but it already sounds more scary than The Conjuring House. As much as they tried to chalk these events up to overactive imaginations, it was hard to deny that something sinister was at play. The incidents became increasingly intense. Full-bodied apparitions could be seen, both of a woman in white, as well as bizarre animal-human hybrids. What? Human height? What does that even mean? I mean, dude, now knowing kind of what an elemental is from the Conjuring House, it's got me thinking that that's probably a very similar creature-like entity that's haunting the forest in this house. Dude, this is so weird because you know at the start of the trip how we like kind of talked about our house growing up and some of the things we experienced? Mm -hmm. Well, before we, my dad bought that property and built the house, he had local hunters come to him and tell him, do not live in there, do not buy this property. He was told about these hunters going in the woods at our house and seeing these animal hybrids. And I thought that was crazy. I have not heard of those types of stories or they're like, I've actually never heard of another place that had this before. This is like really, I thought the conjuring was hitting home, like this is hitting home. One of the more frightening stories the family would go on to tell was of a night when they noticed a group of strange faces staring in their windows. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Bro, hold on, it gets creepier. However, when Mr. Dandy ran outside to chase away the trespassers, the faces reversed and were then peering back at him from the inside of the house. Oh, oh, I got chills all through my body on that one. So he's outside. So Sees the faces like out the window, runs outside, looks back, and they're inside his house. Oh, oh. I'm so uncomfortable all of a sudden. I'm surprised I've never seen that in a movie. That's, That's so scary. That's what I'm saying. Is like, they need is... to do a movie on this. Let's do a movie. Let's do a movie. All right, we're not going tomorrow. We're we'll start so scripting this out. Yeah, we're not gonna upload this video until we're done with the movie. It was at this point that the haunting began to turn violent. Objects began levitating around the house, and at one point a lamp from the living room threw itself at one of the Dandy daughters. The last straw came when Mr. Dandy experienced a state of amnesia. It was at this point an exorcist, a priest from St. Bonaventure University, was called in to exorcise the home while the family and team of paranormal researchers were present. According to those present, the paranormal activity became the strongest it had ever been. Lights in the house were turning on and off, unexplained banging and screaming filtered through the walls and a terrible sense of an evil presence drifted through the home. Unfortunately, the exorcism did not work. And after a few days of calm in the house, the activity ramped up again, finally forcing the Dandy family to move just 16 short months after moving in. This all happened in 16 months? Like to have all of those incidences happen within a year and a half, not even, like that's gonna traumatize a whole entire family for life. Yeah, that's a lot to happen to during an exorcism. Like that's almost proof right there that this is demonic. This is something very evil. I honestly feel really bad for the Dandy family. It's like all of these tragic events that were like other people's doing ended up being something that they had to end up dealing with. Yeah, like it's not their fault. And imagine, imagine like you're putting all your money, all your finances into getting a house and within a year you're trying to get it exercised and you want to move. For people that didn't grow up in a haunted home, like it does have the capability of like tearing families apart. Mm -hmm. These things are real. I actually think that hauntings are personally more prevalent inside people's homes. It's such an intimate place and I just really do feel bad that they had to deal with all that. Well, I mean, if you believe in like the religious version of demons, like it makes more sense that they're gonna haunt a house where they're actual are living people mm -hmm. where it can really do damage than some abandoned building. Like mm -hmm. what's the point of a demon being in an abandoned building? Mm -hmm. Like maybe some abandoned places obviously have it because there's so many people going in and out, but like a house makes a lot more sense for something this dark. 
It's no wonder, with its murders, wronged natives, reported demonic presences, centuries of strange occurrences, and ultimately a botched exorcism, that to this day, visitors claim that the dark energy never left the property, and some even claim that the house sits directly on top of a vortex, which enhances the paranormal activity. I can believe that. Yeah. That's so many different things, and like, especially with the failed exorcism, because now it's going to think that it has power over anything that's trying to stop it. Dude, how crazy is it that like, these Native Americans had this land, a bunch of settlers come in and massacre them, right? But like, to even make it worse, the men who end up ultimately settling there are freaking serial killers. Like, I feel like the Native American spirits there are maybe responsible for a lot of this, but rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Like, anyone who comes in there is instantly deemed a trespasser, they killed thousands of us. Like we, we're gonna do everything we can in the afterlife to terrorize and ruin their lives. People who have investigated the Hinsdale house have been met with negative energy almost immediately after entering through the front door. The current owner of the house has placed security cameras throughout the home and has captured full bodied apparitions. It is thought that the property may be even more haunted than the house itself. One thing that the owner was kind of stressing to me is that someone, one of us, should spend some time on the property experiencing the outside because the entire property, like it says, is probably more haunted than the inside of the house. Most active areas include the living room slash Beth's room. This part of the house, which is now the living room, used to be a bedroom when the dandies lived there. One of the daughters, Beth, would be awakened in the middle of the night with an urge to look out the window. When she did find the courage to peer outside, she would oftentimes see a woman dressed in white roaming around the property. This is also where the botched exorcism took place. Mary's room. Located on the second floor, one of the dandy daughters stayed in this room. It is believed that when she was staying here, she was going through the early stages of a demonic possession. Her family moved her into Beth's room and nailed the door shut to try to keep what was inside trapped. Today, people can still feel the evil presence in this room, and for some strange reason, hordes of insects seem to flock into this area of the home. The second floor bedroom. This bedroom on the second floor is said to be haunted by the spirit of a little boy. They believe the spirit to be that of the boy who was tragically killed by the buzzsaw. People who have stayed here have captured chilling EVPs in the closet where it is said the boy likes to spend his time. Dude, the second floor is a lot of creepy stuff. <sighs> the kitchen. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. The kitchen. <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> This is where the owner has captured multiple full-bodied apparitions and shadow figures walking around and even walking all the way up the staircase. An apparition walking all the way up the staircase? Mm. No, yeah. thank you. The property said to be even more haunted than the house itself. This is the site of the Native American massacre and the bodies of potential murder victims have been found. It is common to see the apparitions of the Native American spirits walking near the pond and in the forest. Many claim that a dark entity also lingers in the forest surrounding the house. Oh man, <laughs> oh. this haunted house tour has definitely been eye-opening. Yeah. It's weird, some of the smallest things are packing the biggest punches so far. This is incredibly dense with all dark things. There isn't like anything in here that I'm like, oh, I hope I run into that ghost. No. Let's I'm scared. Because... I'm scared too. Like, so... Dude, I almost popped your face off. I know, and I really got scared. I scared her though. <laughs> Dude, like, Comment man. below how like, freaking funny that was. That was sick, high five. <laughs> Here we go, we got some sleep, and now we're loading out. We're gonna get in the car and head to the house. The Hinsdale house, the Ashley Tisdale house. <laughs> I'm Ashley kidding. Tisdale? I'm kidding, she's hot. Was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you guys are not ready for this. No. Not ready for this. We are 
are five minutes away. Feels like we're in the middle of freaking nowhere. What a way to start the night. It started raining and we have the entire Hinsdale house to ourselves. Dude, what the frick? We really are in the Dude, woods that's now. that's what I'm saying. Like, no street lights, no nothing. We're just driving into the black abyss of all of these woods. And it's so far away from the main road. Dude, you can't even see it. It's wow. so dark Let's out. Go off IR for a second just to show you this drive up. Look at this. You can't see anything out there. When you can't find the house, you know you're in the middle of freaking. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, oh, that's it, what? That's it, it right just here. came out of nowhere. Oh my god. There it is. All right. Oh, here goes something. All right, you guys ready? No. Now or never. 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 go in say hi to Dan hey hey hello hello hi holy cow what's up dude I can't Sarah. believe you're in here by yourself <laughs> yeah, it's well, well on the porch yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> the only safe zone oh god any warnings for us I, I will warn you guys if you start feeling suppressed if you start feeling like you're engaging with something that's negative in nature I would kind of try to move on from that like move away from that because it does just come out of the blue oh I'm it's, nervous for this one I feel like yeah. the house itself will be scary but whoever has to go walk the property too is not gonna have a good time yeah you're probably not gonna be able to sleep outside tonight but yeah. I will tell you that it was originally a hundred acres I have ten of them right now I actually have a neighbor that helps me right down the road that's experienced mm -hmm. stuff down by her property as well now I've got to know a lot of my neighbors mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of them experience stuff just wow. they call this place the enchanted mountains yeah. wow. okay. I'm like really weirdly excitedly scared about this me too it's a good feeling to have yes I hope we have a good night I have a feeling we're gonna have a really good night oh god I'm spending the night in another haunted house let's go get our stuff let's go. <laughs> Dan has left so it is just us for now on this entire property in this house alone. You guys ready to go into the house for the first time? I think so. I don't know. Let's do it. Uh, After you, leader. Oh, leader, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's your location. Because if you get murdered right away, it's good for us to not be there. Don't even do that. We're coming in. Get ready for us, okay? Whoa. It looks so bright in here, but it's literally because there's night vision lights everywhere. Let me just show the audience really quick. Like, that looks like a bright light in there, but it's just an infrared light. Honestly, I think we should just get a feel for the place, kind of get our bearings. What room is that? Michael's room. Michael's room? Yeah, he was one of the dandies. He passed away, but apparently his spirit still comes back here. This is little. It's a very small room. So there's a night vision light above their head. Once again, that's a night vision light. That's what we're seeing with our naked eye right now. We are actually in the dark. Is there anybody here? We're gonna be in this house all night until the sun comes up. Can you let us know that you're here? Can you walk around for us? You can tap on Dakota's shoulder if you're here. Michael, can you walk into your room? You're very well known for scaring people out of here. Families who've lived here, visitors today. Can you scare us out of here? Do you want to have a conversation? Should we go check out some other parts of the house? Yeah, keep exploring. It's really hard to see. We're coming up. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking crazy. This is Mary's room. So she was the one that her family thought she was starting to get possessed and they thought it was the room that was doing it so they nailed it shut and that's this room right here which is now wide open. It's so small. Yeah. They locked this door yeah. with nails. We gotta remember it wasn't the room that was haunted, it was 
just this entity in the house. And they thought by locking it that they were locking it in here. And that clearly didn't work. No. no. Did not work. I think we should check out the living room where they performed the botch exorcism. And honestly, I think we just set up some REM pods around the house kind of as a trap. Yeah, like we'll be in the main living room, but if something anywhere else in the house decides to move around, we'll know where they are. Oh, is it going off? off? Whoa. It's going off. What? It's going off right now. There's someone standing by the REM pod. Can you move away from it? Can you walk towards me? Oh. If there's still somebody here, can you tap that device? Can you touch it? Weird, dude. That is weird. And none of the other REM pods have even made a peep yet. Yeah. Okay. So we have three REM pods, one in Mike's room, one upstairs, on the top of the stairs, and one right here. I'm so curious just if other ones are going to go off. We know that you are over in that corner right now. We've been told about dolls being thrown and objects being moved. There's a couple dolls and objects over there. Can you move one of them? Should I just put that wide camera shooting right there at the corner so we know we catch it? We got a camera now, our wide camera, instead of filming us, is just filming the corner with the REM pod. And that was her room, right? Yeah, it was Beth's room. That's the room that she would wake up all the time at night and see the lady in white outside of her window. We're gonna ask you some questions. If this is something sinister, something evil, can you touch that device, that red light, or move one of those objects? If you're okay with us being here, can you tap that device with lights on it? Once again, if you're comfortable with us being here, can you touch that red light? What is that noise? What was That's that? What I'm saying. I mean, I just want to point out that we we have turned off all the AC, all the heaters. Like, there's nothing on in this house that would cause a breeze or anything like that, or make noises right now. Can you put your hand and reach out and grab those red lights? Remember how you made it start flashing? set up something for it to move. I put a couple ping pong type cat balls on all the drawers and dressers to see if maybe it'll move one of those. They're a lot lighter than a doll. I just put three balls on the tables over there on the dressers. Can you use your energy to move one of those, to grab one of those? One of them is right by the red light you were touching. Do you want to communicate with us? Can you let us know where you're at? Can you go up to any of these red lights and touch them? like something like just like flicked a piece of glass over there tapping on the window yeah if it's outside Ooh, don't like that you want to come into this room we really want you to knock off one of those balls on the shelf there that's weird just for viewers to know, there's two different tones. When it's actually flashing lights, that means electromagnetic energy is being messed with. And when it's just that, that type of beep, that means there's a temperature fluctuation right next to it. So it's picking up two different things, these REM pods. Can you move one of those balls now? Is there really? What is that? Like just scuffling on the ground, like actual walking. 
Are you out in the kitchen? Is there someone in the kitchen? I feel like it's playing this game where it's messing around out here. And the second we start asking about it out there, it makes that go off. So we don't even focus on what's going on in the kitchen or other parts of the house. It's, that one's going off. That one's going off. Mike's, Mike's going off. Oh my God, dude. Yo, it's full on going off right now. What? Right when we heard scuffling from the kitchen. Oh like that, my. It wasn't like that just randomly went off. And this hasn't gone off at all, all no, night. Not even the temperature. Nothing has made a noise outside of the one in the room we were just in. Dude, whatever's in there is just standing on top of it, not Good. moving. Who's ever there, can you please step away from the REM pod? Mike, is that you? I mean, do we turn it off and turn it back on? Try it. I'm gonna zero out the REM. It's zeroed out now, back to a baseline, so whatever is making it go off is gonna have to get even closer. I find it weird that you just turned that one off and now this one's going off. Seriously? Just temperature, but it's weird. Can you make this one go off? That is a weird point though, Tanner. Like, second it stops over there and we zero it out, it jumps over here and that starts going off. Like, it's literally playing a game with us. The only place it hasn't been is upstairs, the REM pod upstairs. You guys wanna try the spirit box? Yeah. Do you wanna do it here? We might as well try it here, ask some more questions and see if we can actually get voices to come through. So I'm gonna turn on the spirit box right now. This device will just scan the radio frequencies. It's believed that spirits can use these frequencies to come through with their voice, talk to us, even give this a little more credibility too. We are in the middle of nowhere right now, so there really shouldn't be much coming through. I'm gonna turn this on. Now, okay. in SB7 mode. There's somebody here, can you talk to us through this? Hello. Can you tell us your name? Where are you in the house right now? How many people are here? Is there something that you want to tell us? At home. Something at home. At I home. thought I heard at home as well. Yeah, something, something at home. Whose home is this? Is what the Everett brothers did on this property true? Did the Everett brothers murder people on this property? I don't know what that was. Male voice. Dude, I feel like a cold breeze going against the bottom of my legs right now. Whoa, and temperature's changing on the REM pod. Right when you say that. Is there anything that you want to know about us? Don't move. Don't move. Why shouldn't we move? Why was there an exorcism done on this property? Left them? Left them, left them is what I heard. You said left them. Who did you leave? What are you talking about? What happened after the exorcism was done? Is our Whoa. Uh, is our something. What is it that's so evil and malevolent on this property? Dead. 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 
What was the last name of the family that lived here for so long? Play. It was. Yeah. What was it? What was their last name? It starts with a D. Do you know what's out in the forest right now? In here? Something here. Yeah, I think I said, or I heard in here. In here, you said like what's in the forest. It's almost yeah. like it's in here. It's not outside right now. What do you think about the idea of one of us or some of us going outside? Is it not a good idea? If some of us go walk the 10 acres of property, what will happen to us? You want to try to move up to the Mary's room? Yeah, I think so. Just because that's the room where the door was locked. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just walk upstairs with this still on. Maybe by moving it'll stir it up. Going up. We're upstairs now. Do you want to give us your name? Relax. 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 Dude, lay on the bed. I just said relax. Yeah, lay on the bed. Relax. Are you in here with me? What was so evil in here that they had to lock the door shut? Keep the door shut? Keep the door shut? Door shut for sure. Can you shut the door? Are you in this room right now? Why won't you give us your name? I don't feel good in here. I really don't. Evil? I'm evil! I'm evil! I'm evil. Are you evil? What do you want to do to us? If you're evil, you must have a lot of energy to give. Can you move something? Move one of these dolls? Please jump. Please jump? Hold on, let me talk to you downstairs. The rim pod's oh, going off. Frick. The rim pod. It's going off again in Michael's room. Michael's room? Uh, uh, Let's go. Wait, what's happening? It's this one. What is it doing? Wait. It just stopped. Yeah, that thing is completely drained, dude. You can't even, like, it's... Wait, not... we can just witness this getting drained. Yeah. Like, it was just going off. Yeah, like, dude, when you walked like... in, it was on. It was on and it was going off. And the weird thing was, is like it was blinking all different lights. It was almost triggering every single part of the REM pod. Brand new batteries on all of these devices. And you guys realize like what made us turn that down is I was hearing noises downstairs. Yeah, and you didn't even describe beeping. You heard like genuine movement. Yes. And the last thing we were getting up there was something about evil. What we know about the paranormal, if this thing did just drain that battery, it has energy now to give. Yep. Like it's about to do something or move something. Literally what I was just about to ask. All right, what is up guys? Sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to let you guys know that we have an exclusive club. If you wanna join it, it's fearclub.com. The link is in the description. We have bonus content from the episodes. We have bonus material from off the road, just our personal lives. We have podcasts. We have exclusive giveaways, 24 hour early access to all of the fear gear and exclusive fear gear that you can only get through the club. So if you wanna be a part of the club, I suggest you click that link right below. It's really easy. It's all you gotta do is click it and then sign up and do uh, follow the instructions and stuff like that. It's scary out here, by the way. Back to the video. 
so we just swapped batteries, took a little bit of a breather. Since there is a lot happening on the property, it seems like I do think we should probably split two and two, have two people stay in the house and two people go explore the property. Ooh. It's okay. It's just gonna be me and you. Oh. Don't even worry about it. We're going outside. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I know, it's freezing. I don't feel safe going outside right now. I feel actually almost worse. No, definitely not. So I do think we should go check that out. And then Tanner and Chelsea. That's us. You guys got this entire house to yourselves for a while. Ugh. Oh gosh. I'm like curious though. Like I feel like this whole night's been active, but it's a small house. There's been four of them. Is that you? No. The boom? No. Weird. Been active, but it's a small house. There's been four. Is that you? No. Been active, but it's a small house. There's been four. Is that you? Weird though. I was yeah. literally in the middle of saying like maybe some of the spirits here aren't willing to show themselves as much because we're all so close and it's almost intimidating. But this will be interesting to see what happens to you two in here. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Put them all in. Cheers. Cheers. Good luck, everyone. All right. Should we go try to get closer to the pond? Yes. And check it out? Let's do it. All right. Got the thermal. I will let you know. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something. There's two somethings. Oh, those are definitely animals. That's definitely like a deer, right? I think it's a deer, but there's two of them. Oh, it's yeah. definitely a deer. I see it. Okay, actual deers. Okay. Where the hell is this pond? Where is the pond? Oh, is this it right here? Is this the pond? Yeah. I'll follow you. Right over here. Dang. This land is like, gives me the creeps. Hello? Anything out here? hear chanting out here they see native american apparitions they see the lady in white and i think the scariest thing that people see is these humanoid animal yeah. hybrids that's pure elemental demonic 100 percent. i feel like we should like venture into the woods you want to i mean i don't want to but i feel like that's what's going to be the scariest part yeah let's try to find a trail or something yeah So creepy, dude. It's really freaky. Oh, whoa. Something. What is that? What is that? What the hell, dude? It's just like a ball. It's not showing up. I don't see it. It's disappearing. Dude, what? It was right there. You see that little tiny ball now? Like, it's just a little heat signature now. I think I mean, that's right where it was, but it's gone. Okay, that was not an animal. I feel like if that was an animal, we would have seen it like running. Yeah. It just disappeared. Let's go over there. Yeah. Hello? Definitely like not super far. No, dude, I still don't see it. I was like right over here somewhere. Right at the edge of the woods. It wasn't that stump. Nothing? Nothing. I feel like if it was an animal too, like we would have seen it again. Be able to pick up on it. And at least seeing something a little more distinct. Like if it was a deer, you'd see it, you'd know that. Hello? Is there somebody over here? We're here on the property. We've been told that something will scare us out. So far, nothing again on thermal. I feel like for Alex's wrath, I feel like it could be worse. I know, we'd be stuck with him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> can't see anything. This is so sketchy. I genuinely can't see anything right now. This is literally what we're able to see. It's pitch black. Dude, I don't. I would not want to be outside right now, but I also can say that I don't really want to be inside either. Yeah, no, there's not a good spot in the slightest. If there's anybody here with us, we'd like to talk to you. Where would you like to talk? Can you let us know where to go? 
I'm so uncomfortable. Can I just remind everyone that we are standing in the room where the exorcism took place? Yeah, and it didn't work. Whoa, oh, no! oh, you literally just started talking about the exorcism and that started going off. Chels, do you not like us talking about the exorcism? Does that frustrate you? That's actually really bizarre, Chelsea. We just started talking about the exorcism and how it didn't work, and then that REM pod goes off. Oh! Okay. Okay, what is actually happening? I don't know, but like every time we like mention the E word, it goes off. I just have a really weird feeling about everything all of a sudden. Is there something we should be nervous about? Is there any warning you have for us? We have three REM pods. Can you touch one of them and let us know where you'd like us to go? Can you make a noise for us? Here's the trail. All right, after you. Oh, dude, this is creepy. Whoa, yeah, that's a creepy trail. Okay, I think we found our spot. Yeah, let's go up here and try some gear. Look at this. I'm gonna go off IR just to show you this with my flashlight. This is what we're walking into right now. It just, at the end of it, it's just, just swallowed by darkness. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes locked on the thermal. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Oh my God. What? Look at this. I don't like that. What is this? I'm going off IR for a second. I mean, honestly, this looks like peace offerings to the Native Americans. Yeah, that does look like that. Even though it's probably a good thing, it looks creepy. Yeah, dude. <sighs> okay, let me do a little pan of the woods. I think we should try doing some gear out here, yeah. right in the thick of the woods. Right now, I'm holding the PS device. We're gonna use this out here in the woods. This is a device that has a word database inside of it. It's believed spirits can choose words, pick words, and communicate with us. We're gonna see if we can talk with whatever people see out here. We could be dealing with Native American spirits, could be dealing with victims of the Everett brothers, or on the flip side, we could be dealing with something non-human, demonic or elemental. If there's anyone out here and you can hear our, my voice and our voices, we'd love to talk to you. We'd love to know who's out here with us. We'd love to know who's out here. Is there anyone that wants to communicate with us? Yeah. Is. Is? There is. Water. Water. Do you want us to go back by the pond? No. 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 Oh, it was really, really fast. Are we safe out here? Stay. Stay. Shot. Shot. Shot? Are we talking to one of the brothers that was shot out here? Oh yeah, because there was two brothers who had gotten a fight over religious beliefs and then one of them shot one with a shotgun. Out in the woods, right? Yeah. Is this where that took place? Should we go upstairs and try to guess this method up there? Do you want to go under or do you want me to go under? I can go under, but you have to promise that you're not leaving. I won't do that because I wouldn't want anyone doing that to me. Just me. All right, so I'm putting these on or doing the Estes method. If there's anything here with us, you can use this device to speak to us. Dude, I cannot even hear my own thoughts. Right now, Chelsea is in the room that was boarded up because they thought something evil was in here. She's doing the SS method and I am out in the other bedroom. Is there anyone here with us? What happened in this room? War. War? Who's still here with us? Are we talking to Mary? Or are we talking to something else? Whoa. What'd you hear? Whoa. Like everything just cut out and then something was said in a male voice that I don't know what it was. Why was this boarded up? Why was this door locked? Why did the Dandy family not want this door open? 
They tried. They tried to what? They try to stop you? Are we talking to something evil right now? I'm alive. I'm alive? I just got chills through my body. I don't, I don't know what that means. The, the REM pod's going off. I don't know if this is gonna be able to hear it. I'm here. Oh, I don't like this, Chels. And the REM pod just stopped. Chelsea just said, I am alive. The REM pod started going off and then it stopped. And now it said, I'm here. Uh, something about playing. Playing? Who's here? You don't know where you are. I have no idea what that means. Are you saying that we shouldn't be here? That we are underestimating this place? You're right. You're right. What's gonna happen to us if we stay the entire night? Can you help? What can we help you with? We mean no harm, we'd love to help. We've heard there's been horrible things that happen on this property and in this house. Do you want us to share your story or is there something else going on? Beware. What, what should we be aware of? like nothing coming through right now. Right now we're standing next to this tree with all these offerings to the Native American spirits. What's so evil that's haunting this property? We've been trying all night to get an answer on what it is that's so dark. Is there anyone out here who can tell us what's on this property that's so bad? Else. Else? Else? Like something, something else? Something else? Reveal. Reveal. I'm gonna pan around for a second. Murder. 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 Dude. Secret. Secret? My walkie just started glitching too. Ask. Dude. Uh, What's the secret? Oh my god, right behind us. That was loud. That sounded like something huge just stepped on a branch. Is there something out here? I don't see anything on thermal. I literally thought we were about to see like a deer or something big behind us. Did someone just try to rush up behind us? Demon. Demon! Oh shit. No. Was that you trying to come up behind us? Demon. Dude, I'm really scared up here. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. Are you a demon? Can you confirm that you're a demon one more time with another word like that? This place is like coming at us from all angles with like everything that happened in the forest so Satan. far. What? Satan! Satan, Satan dude! Oh, I just asked for another word God. just to confirm. I don't know if we should be in the woods right now. What are the chances it says demon after what we heard? And then I ask for another confirming word that you are a demon, and then it says Satan. Are we talking to this demon, or are you warning us? Is this someone warning us? Girl. Girl? Uh -huh. The woman in white? Is this the woman in white people have seen out here? What is this demon thing? How did it come here? How did it get here? Entered. 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 What? These are like instant responses. Entered. Did it come through the vortex, the portal that's here? How did the demon get here? What drew that hell. entity here? Hell. Hell? It just said hell. Oh no joke, it said hell. And symbols. 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 What drew it here? Symbols? Hell? Symbols. Maybe someone did something. Dude, someone must have conjured this thing here. That was back to back again. Hell. Symbols. Who did it? Who did the symbols and drew this thing here? Okay, I genuinely feel like we need to like go through this together because some of the stuff I was hearing, I like couldn't figure out what it was so I didn't say it, but there was a lot more there. Right. Now in SB7 mode. Can you tell us who you are? You're telling us to beware of something. What should we be aware of? Give a warning for us.
to. Like nothing's coming through. Dude, we were getting so many different responses in that room right there. After it said beware, it's like nothing's on here anymore. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, like will not come. What? What's that? Walkie. Yo, are you guys trying to talk to us? What? No. No, we did not. not try to talk to you. The walkie hasn't even moved. Dude, I'm just gonna tell you, we were asking, inquiring about this, like what brought a demon here? Like why would there even be a demon here? How did it come here? And then it said hell and then symbols. Like, do you think that they... Maybe those brothers did some weird ritual or some satanic thing? Like we don't know who or what did it, but that was like the interpretation is like someone at some point in history maybe did some sort of a ritual. Here on the land or something. But we don't know, we're just freaking out. So I think me and Chelsea just figured out something. Every time we say the E word, the REM pod goes off. In the, in the room where Evil? the E thing happened. Evil? I'm not, the other one. Don't, don't say it. The one where there's a bad thing and the priest tries to make him go away. I don't know. I don't want to say the word. Exorcism. Oh God, dude. Exorcism. You son of a bitch. Oh, <gasps> it went off! Oh! Go get on the tape. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, Dude, Dakota literally said it through a walkie and it went off. Chelsea? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Were you not right behind me the whole time? No. Why? I thought you were right behind me the whole entire time. Like, Dude, uh, this just turned on. This turned on by this time. What did? <laughs> what? This literally turned on. Okay, what just happened? Okay. Um, quite literally, I thought when we heard the REM pod go off, I went down to get, get it on camera. I could have sworn I was hearing footsteps behind me and I thought you were behind me while I was filming. So when I turned around, you weren't there. I was freaking out. And then as I come up here, you're saying that turned on by itself. I'm not kidding you, unless if I bumped it. But the fact like that you said that and then this turned on, like it just was like uncanny timing. Like I feel like I'm either psyching myself out or something creepy is going on here. Something's creepy is happening. It's not a coincidence. Whatever it is. It's like just starting to get intense. Okay, well nothing else came through on this that whole time. Let's go back to them. Yeah, let's go meet up with them and see how it went. Okay, we're gonna turn on this device one last time. If there's somebody or something here, you can use this device to talk with us. We're gonna give you the floor. We're not even gonna ask any questions. Hey, we're back. Ah! I knew it! We're back. Oh, is that you? Yeah. We just came in. Holy God. It probably could have been a little quiet. <laughs> probably a little bit quiet. <laughs> Like, you, <laughs> <laughs> you go get him! <laughs> get him, Tanner! <laughs> you guys! Can we get a little warning before you just I break I into the broke house? Oh my wrist pushing Tanner. <laughs> Craziest thing ever. So we were doing Estes and it was weird because they were like all over the place. But then like one of the last words was just beware and then nothing. The living room, best room, that REM pod goes off. Every single time the E word gets said. Where that E word happened. Yes. Exactly. Even when you said it over the walkie. It went boom, off. It went no off. Way. I swear. Okay, that's so creepy. That is really weird. Right when we got out there, we like saw this weird ball of heat in the woods. This was just like almost a perfect ball. By the time we got to the edge of the tree line, it was gone. Really weird. Definitely need to take the trail once you guys go out there at some point. Wait, what Wait do you mean? we're going outside? I feel like we should switch it up. That'll have to probably be part two though, because I think we're about to wrap up part one of this video. <sighs> we were just talking about how we're so glad we're not out there. <laughs> that we don't have to go out there. Dude, well, wait till you uh -huh. see it. The, the outside the property like is so eerie. It literally is Blair Witch type woods. 100%. Fantastic. 
All right, so this would be the time where we would be sleeping alone, but we are not gonna be doing that tonight. We're gonna keep exploring. I feel like it is just starting to ramp up, so we're gonna be up the entire rest of the night. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below where you found the rubber duck. It's only hidden in here one time. It's in one place. So make sure you comment down below where you found it, if you found it, and if not, go rewatch this from the beginning. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's keep going.